Hello my friends, Rotordil here and today I have the AlphaWise U30, a new 3D printer from AlphaWise that basically delivers everything that you would expect from a high-end 3D printer but at a very cheap price. We are looking at a less than $200 3D printer and today I'll talk about my experience with it. I've been using it heavily before making this review. So before we start, I just want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. This is uh, basically being done by clicking on that red button down below. By subscribing, you'll join my adventures while I'm checking out new gadgets, just like this one. Let's take a look at some of the models I've printed and some of the printings I've done with this uh, AlphaWise U30. enjoyed this quick video of my uh, printing abilities and today I'll talk about the AlphaWise U30. I have some of the models I've printed with the printer itself. As you can see some of the models here basically uh, are made by me. This is a famous model that you can print out from Thingiverse that you can change uh, the lettering on it and it's really amazing. You can basically type whatever you want. So in this case I actually wrote the name of my uh, other channel which is local in my country. And also I've printed out lots of other models from Thingiverse like this one or this one. And I had lots of experiences with the 3D printer and one of the things I was really amazed at is the quality of the prints. As you can see right now, I didn't expect much when getting a $200 3D printer, but take a look at this, this plane. Uh, you know you have a high quality 3D printer when you can take out the wings and the mechanical parts inside are actually working. This is something that uh, basically uh, does a stress test for your 3D printer and it was uh, it's basically working success successfully also with the egg that basically holds the plane itself. Um, I did feel like there are many things in this 3D printer that I don't have on the uh, other 3D printers I have for example the Anet uh, A8. Um, Couple of them are the smart features. One of the smart features is the sensor you have on the 3D printer. This 3D printer knows when you're out of filament. So when that happens, it's gonna stop the print. You can then come back to the printer when, whenever it is and restart the printing from that same point. That means that you're gonna save your model. Other thing that, uh, other smart feature that this 3D printer has is the power failure mechanism. So for example, if the power fails in your area and I do have lots of uh, incidents where this actually happens to me, um, you can basically get the printing back started at the same point when the power comes back. This is really important because when you are doing 20 hour plus printing, you really need that feature. Other than that, I felt like that one of the things I have in this printer that I don't have in other printers is that because I only have one motor on one side of the printer, I don't really have to do much calibration to get everything printing successfully. On the Anet A8, for example, I had two of those and it was really a mess. I mean, the first month I had with the printer was all about calibrating and I really need to learn how, to, I really had to learn how to do it successfully. It was a pain in the, excuse me. So in this printer, it's not really the same. It's really easy to calibrate. You have the four, uh, basically, uh, toggles over here on the bottom. You just change these and that's it. Everything is calibrated. It's very easy. You take an A4 paper and that's, that's all you're going to, to need. Other than that, we are looking at an aluminum alloy frame. Um, it looks amazing. Everyone that basically took a look at this printer was like, wow, it's, it's beautiful and it truly is. I actually like the color combinations of uh, red and the black, as you can see, and it's, I just, it's just lovely. One thing I must say about the 3D printer itself is that it doesn't take uh, one hour to build it. It's actually more than the U20, which is the bigger brother of this printer, and it's, uh, the U20 actually costs more than double. Um, this 3D printer took me around three hours to build and I actually have more 3D printers so I do have experience 
and it's not one hour like they state on the product page so this is something you really want to know before you buy the product regarding connectivity we do have an SD card over here so you can use the SD card or the cable connection if you want to connect the 3D printer to your computer and not use an SD card like I've done in the past uh, week I've been using this printer. We do have a layer height here of 0.1 millimeter. This is what you get usually on printers under $300 and in this case it gets the job done. This is basically printed at 0.1 millimeter and I really love the everything that the 3D printer did with this model. You can see that it's very high quality. I've actually not printed uh, this model very fast. I used a uh, 60 millimeter per second, but you can go faster if you want. In my case, time is not uh, is irrelevant. I just want to get the highest quality models. And this is what I did with this model or my other models over here. The only model I've printed uh, in uh, 0.2 millimeter is this one, just to check it out. And you can see there is a bit more patterns on the uh, model itself. This is because I basically used 0.2 and not 0.1. You can print out models at the size of 22 centimeters on 22 centimeters width and length and of a height of 25 centimeters. This is basically good enough to print out a small vase. If you do need to look at a 3D printer that's bigger than this one, maybe you should consider the U20, which is the printer's bigger brother. I'm also going to put links for the U20 and the U30 in the description of this video below. One thing that this 3D printer has is the LCD screen over here. Basically, you can touch and press any button you want. And this is really amazing because usually on the old 3D printers or on the cheap ones, you have buttons or one toggle that you can change and that's how you choose options on the menu. This takes a longer time to get everything started and if you are already using a micro SD card it just makes the process even more painful. So with the LCD screen for example it's just two clicks to get started when you want to print and also one of the most advanced features I have on this 3D printer that basically is not even listed on the product page is that you can easily use the LCD screen to take out the filament and take in new one. So for me I don't have that feature in any of my 3D printers and as I know with the Anet A8 you really have to modify the 3D printer to get um, the filament easily out or inside the printer itself, um, the nozzle head and with this 3D printer all I had to do is just click on a button on the extruder out button and everything goes out and then extruder in and everything goes in. This is really really easy and I, I have to say this is my favorite 3D printer just because of this single functionality. So regarding temperatures, you're going to get 100 degrees Celsius on the heat bed and 250 degrees Celsius on the nozzle. If you're looking at, if you're looking at printing uh, ABS, you have this option over here. You have obviously PLA, which, which is what I've been using in the past week just to get my prints ready. It's a cheap material and I'm going to put my favorite brand here down in the description below if you want to look at cheap uh, PLA material to buy. And also I think that it doesn't smell as bad as ABS when you're printing it. So definitely you want to use PLA if you want to start with the 3D printing world. And like I mentioned, this 3D printer has lots of features targeted at beginners. And this is going to be really helpful for you because you're not going to waste a lot of time dealing with uh, mechanics of 3D printers uh, that are complex. For example, calibration or inserting new filament and taking out old filament. Everything is really smart and really easy to do with this 3D printer. So I hope you enjoyed my small review of the 3D printer. I'm going to leave you with a fast forward as you can see with a time lapse of one of my prints. And I also have lots of other prints I've done with this 3D printer. Feel free to uh, post a comment down below if you have questions about the 3D printer itself. I really do my best to answer everything I can. And like always I'm putting two videos over here on my side of the video. Uh, for two other reviews that I think that will interest you. I also invite you to subscribe by clicking on that red uh, subscribe button down below or that circle button that's over here on the video overlaid. I was Roto Dylan. I'm going to see you on the next video. Bye bye.